Welcome back. If heart disease strikes at a young age, it can need decades of management and more than one surgical procedure. Lisa Malik is here with a look at how a local man and his doctors have brought his disease under control. Well, stems are often the first line of treatment, but they're not necessarily effective for everybody. That's when patients hear the options for surgery and whether the heart will be beating the whole time or still. For Alan Stock of Kellnersville, an everyday activity became an indication of something serious. I was out walking the dog, and my left arm got so bad I couldn't lift the dog leash. He realized it was his heart and saw his doctor in Manitowoc. They didn't need KG, no heart attack. Uh, they put me on some blood pressure medication, and they let me go on vacation in Brook County for a week. Things were fine, but the exact symptom came back about six months later. The stress test two days later, and... Uh, within a day and a half, I was up here getting five stents put in. But the battle continued when the stents failed. And so when he got to me, we were not going to revisit the stents as another alternative. We needed to do something more durable. Okay. And so surgery became the next level of discussion. Open chest surgery for a double bypass. And for Ellen, Dr. Reutstein chose a beating heart procedure, the organ functioning as normal the entire time. But I think uh, one of the major benefits is that uh, there's less, less first needing transfusion uh, because you use less, less blood thinning medications and things of that nature, a neurological benefit. So you're, you're not going in a heart-lung machine, you're less likely to cause uh, cognitive issues long term. And Alan has his mind on the long term. Yeah, that's the plan. Just enjoying life and hopefully retire happy and uh, and healthy. No matter where he walks his dog, he knows he won't miss a beat in his heart care. I'm trying to work with two homes between Door County and here, and I'm pretty much right in the middle. So if I need the care, I can be here from one one place or the other just as quick. Though more durable, Dr. Roystein says bypass isn't necessarily a permanent fix, so healthy lifestyle habits are a must. Ellen's lost about 25 pounds. That's great. Is feeding heart surgery common? Well, it's done about 20% of the time nationwide. Dr. Roystein says at Aurora Baker Medical Center, they do it about 50% of the time. For more information on this story, you can call 1-866-938-0035 or head to WFRV.com, click on Health Watch.